beautifuls! Welcome back to my channel today. So today we are doing a limited edition unboxing from Trend Mood. This is a mystery box. So Trend Mood put together very limited amounts of boxes. My understanding is they sold out within like an hour or two and they created mystery boxes where you will receive items from all of their past boxes that they've had in the last year or so. So it's kind of like a hodgepodge of items they had left over that they just put into mystery boxes. They're none alike. They are all different. So I have with me one box today that I got in. I've not even opened it, you guys. Like, it's still ready to go. It's all sealed. We're going to open it up and see what's inside of this mystery box and cross our fingers that this was worth it. <laughs> This box is currently sold out at this time. Like I said, I think it sold out within an hour or two of them posting it. I just know that when I got the email, I happened to be on my phone at that time. So I was like, oh sure, I'm gonna go ahead and get one of these. And then all of my subscribers were like, did you see the alert? I missed it, I was at work, I didn't get it. And I'm like, wow, I had no idea they were gonna sell out quickly. But they did not have a lot of them available. I feel like Trend Mood puts together really great boxes, so I would assume the mystery box is gonna be good too. But after all, it is a mystery box, so who knows? I did spend $44 on this box. There was free shipping on this one as well. So this is what it looks like. Classic Trend Mood when I open it up here. I love playing this game of like guessing what it is through the bubble wrap. I don't know if you guys do that, but I love doing it. I'm like, okay, look at the colors, look at the shapes. Like, oh, this looks like Origins. This looks like Kapari. This is a pa Oh, I remember this palette. It's Nabla. We had this before. <gasps> well, of course we had this before. This was a mixture from the previous mystery boxes. Duh. So first item is from Origins, and this is their Ginseng Oil Free Gel Moisturizer. It is a full-size product from Origins. I love moisturizers and I love the oil-free ones because if you have oily skin like myself, these are a godsend, you guys. So I'm excited because this is one I will 100% use. This is awesome for me. So here's what it looks like outside of the box. It's just a glass jar. It is cruelty-free. It states on here that this one is going to revitalize tired skin. It's lightweight, oil-free, and it's an energy-boosting moisturizer because it has cost coffee and ginseng in it. So that caffeine is supposed to boost and give you life back to your skin is the idea with it, but you're still going to get that hydration. I'm just, I'm already thrilled with this, you guys. Like I'm excited with the brand. It's full size. I will use it. We did great on this one. Our second full size product is from Kapari and this is the Moisture Whipped Ceramide Cream, two ounce or 60 mil. It's a sealed box even. This is a vegan coconut milk whipped cream that will give you hydration back to your skin. It's considered to be an ultra hydrating formula. So for a winter, this should be perfect. Next item that we have is the Nabla Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. Now this one was very cute. It had a very clever layout. So I'll kind of show you guys what it looks like. It's called Read My Mind is the name of this palette. It is a vegan cruelty free eyeshadow palette. Nabla is a great company. I do think they have decent products. This palette, it wasn't my favorite for a couple of reasons, but it does come with a mirror on here. It is full size. And then you get these gorgeous shadows down below. They designed this palette to give you looks within it. So each quadrant is supposed to be an eyeshadow look for you, but then you also create can create a look going across. So you could do this whole row across the top, the whole row in the second one here, and that will create an eyeshadow look for you as well. So they were trying to lay it out that way you could have looks already defined and you know what to do. They also numbered each section so you'd know you want to do one, two, three, four. There's your four looks, something like that. It's a genius idea. I love the layout. The only reason why I didn't love this palette so much is it was very safe. I was not a fan of any of these colors down below. I did use a couple of these shimmers up here, but then 
After a while, it's just one of the palettes that I kind of just put to the back of my stash. There's other palettes out there that I love more than this. Do you know what I mean? And any more, like you guys, there's eyeshadow palettes everywhere. So you learn which ones are your favorites. And it's not that this was bad, it's just not my personal favorite. So I just gave a full review on this palette and I probably didn't even need to. But I do think it's a good item to have in this box. I'm not mad at it. It's just for myself, I'm like, I will get way more use out of the other two products over this one. But in terms of value, we've definitely made back the $44 that I spent on just those three products. Next item that we have is from Anastasia. This is the ABH Volumizing Mascara. It's a full-size product here, and it's in the shade Black. I love that we got this. So here's what it looks like. And like I said, it's the full-size tube. This is decent. I used it, and I didn't think it was that bad. I like that there's a lot of, a lot of fibers, so it really coated my lash as well. I will use this one as well, you guys. Like... This is so good. I'm so happy. There's also a beauty brush. This is from the Danessa Myricks Beauty Company. This one I have, it goes with the chrome flakes. So it's a pot of chrome flakes that you put onto your eyelids and those flakes will flake off basically. So you use one of these applicators, which is a chrome amplifier, and it will help you to press and stick them on without having to get it all over the place. You don't have to get it all over your fingers. So it's a specialty brush. The only thing is, I don't know that I'm going to be able to use this outside of that because it's just a silicone pad. It's not your typical brush where you can blend with anything. It is a silicone pad designed to stamp and pick up product and then to stamp that onto your lids. Last item that I have in my box here today is from Sigma Beauty and it is their lip cream. This is a full size lip product that we have here. The shade is Begonia. And this is what it will look like here. Beautiful nude color. It does have a tint of rose in there, just like a touch of it. But this lip cream is infused with vitamin E and other ingredients to give you hydration back to your lips. It's supposed to be a nutrient rich finish that's creamy, giving you a blush pink lip that's lighter on the lips than lipstick, but more pigmented than a lip gloss. So it's kind of a cross between the two and then you get a lip cream. So that is everything inside of my mystery box from Trend Mood. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this and what did you get in yours if you were able to snag one. I'm curious. Now that I've seen what's in mine, I'm definitely going to go watch a couple other YouTubers and see what they got in theirs because I know a few others have done unboxings and you're supposed to have like it could be anything and everything in your boxes. So even if you've watched one, I probably have different things than everybody else does. But I thought this was really good. Like, I feel like you definitely get your money's worth here. I mean, Trend Mode is so generous. They always give us name brand products. They're full size and you get a lot of them. But let me know what you guys got in yours. I'm sure they were just as amazing, but we can chit chat about it. And until next time, beauties, have a great rest of your day. And I will see you guys all in my next unboxing video. Bye.